Hey folks, uh, this just in on the news. I had to read you this news event. This is unbelievable. As you know, it seems as our times get more and more liberal and left-leaning, Christians are being bashed more and more and more. And these Christians that are part of this university, thank God for them, they, they spoke up and they spoke out against this university's basic Christian bashing. Um, click below here and you could read the article. It says, University to Change Policy Defining Religious Discrimination as Oppression by Christians. And I'm going to give you the short version of the story and then you could read the rest. Basically, the university had a policy stating, let me read it to you. It says it was called the Principles of Community, okay? And it defined religious and spiritual discrimination as the loss of power and privilege to those who do not practice the dominant culture, culture's religion. In the United States, this is institutionalized oppression towards those who are not Christian. So in other words, the university is, is base, was basically saying, look, Christians, we know you're the dominant uh, religion in the U.S. And it's calling Christians oppressors. Did you get what it's saying? It says the loss of power and privilege to those who do not practice the dominant culture's religion. In the United States, this is institutionalized oppressions towards those who are not Christian. In other words, what the university was saying is Christians are the oppressors. And the Christians need to have more tolerance towards other religions and all that. This is what this bizarre, radical, uh, it's the University of California, by the way, at Davis, uh, said. Now, this group, the, this is a good, the good guys, the conservative advocacy group, wrote a letter on behalf of more than 25 students who objected to the policy and wanted it revised. They spoke up. And, and for those Christians out there, listen, nowhere is it biblical for us to remain silent when evil is taking place. And what this university was doing was basic evil. It was intolerant towards Christian. He said... Uh, it's absurd to single out Christians as oppressors and non-Christians as the only oppressed people on campus. When we know in our stupid liberal times that it is Christians who are constantly being uh, bashed. Just look on YouTube here. If you're a Christian on YouTube, you know exactly what we're talking about. The Christian bashing on YouTube is patently blatant. Look at this. Um, the Associate Executive Vice Chancellor at UC Davis said they received the letter and they removed the definition Wednesday. See, even they admitted it was wrong to say that. Now, the students were complaining, but nothing was happening. It says one student said they complained last November and nothing was done. Christians deserve the same protections against religious discrimination as any other students on a public university campus. And uh, the guy says, the idea that a university would discriminate against Christians is a very old story, unfortunately, and one that we see played out every day. Isn't that the truth? Now, there was a, a woman, this girl that's going to the university, and she stood up. Thank God for her. Look at this. One student who asked not to be identified said the university officials asked her to reaffirm. They're forcing her to reaffirm these, this uh, Principles of Community uh, document. Look what she did. She refused to do so when she realized that Christians were not protected under the policy. See, that's what we got to do, Christians. Amen, sisters and brothers. That was the Christian thing to do. You stand up for what is right. You don't just let evil run its course. Uh, lastly, check this out. Look what the university said. It says, not only are we taking it down, but now we're going to look at what kind of affirmative steps we can take to reassure those members of our campus community who may have felt somewhat threatened or intimid intimidated by it. I guarantee you the person that came up with that idiotic, um, what they call it, the idiotic principles of community. I guarantee you they were some left-wing nut job. I guarantee it. 
um, it's just unbelievable. I mean, you, you know, you got to always be paying attention because these Christian bashers, they are everywhere, everywhere. And basically, they were not talking about Christian, uh, these people that are bashing Christians. They're basically picking on Christians. So now they're reversing their policy. They said, clearly, if you had an enforceable regulatory policy said, that said, we will discipline Christians who oppress non-Christians, but we will not impose the same kind of disciplinary sanctions on non-Christians who engage in the same kind of harassing behavior against Christians, that would be unacceptable and subject to legal challenge. And that's exactly what they were saying. <laughs> Notice it says... Uh, the loss of power and privilege to those who do not practice the dominant culture's religion. It says this is institutionalized oppression towards those who are not Christian. So basically, uh, this campus, UC Davis, shame on you, UC Davis. Shame on you. But thank God that the Christians stood up for what is right, and they got UC Davis to admit they were wrong. Another fight won by the wonderful, glorious, awesome, right and good Christian.